guys, welcome to Everyday Living with Simply Mercy B. Today we're making a pound cake. And this pound cake has a special ingredient. And that ingredient is Cool Whip. Who would have thought Cool Whip? But I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to give you my honest opinion on how this Cool Whip pound cake tastes. So let me go over the other ingredients. They're the ingredients that you will find in any other pound cake. That is your flour, and I like using cake flour. We have butter, and we're gonna use salted butter, granulated sugar, we have eggs, and vanilla extract. That is all that goes into this pound cake. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna give a few instructions before I start the mixer. I'm gonna go ahead and put my butter in and I'm gonna slowly add my sugar and we're gonna let that mix well. As my butter and sugar mix, you will see me sifting my flour. We're not gonna add anything to that flour. I am following the recipe. We're not gonna add any leavening or anything to that flour. I have three cups of sugar that I'm gonna slowly add into the mixer when it starts mixing. And once our sugar, once we get all our sugar in with the butter, we're gonna let that mix for about four minutes. So now I just want to scrape down my flour with my sugar and make sure it mixes well. Just want to mix everything together. Very good. And let it continue. Our sugar and butter has mixed well. It's nice and fluffy and this is what you're looking for right here. So far so good. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna alternately add egg and flour. We're gonna start with, remember we're gonna start with dry ingredients and then we're gonna put a wet ingredient in, which would be the eggs. Okay, that part of the batter is complete. We don't need this anymore. We're gonna go ahead and remove our paddle. We're gonna make sure everything is mixed well here. It looks really good. So now we're gonna take our vanilla extract and our Cool Whip and add to the mix. A 
You just have some regular Cool Whip. This is going to take a little bit at a time and fold it in. We're gonna take the remainder of our Cool Whip and add it to the to the batter, and we're gonna fold it in as well. Take a look at our batter after we finish folding our Cool Whip into there. It looks so light and fluffy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grease my tube pan. And I have chosen to use a fluted pan today. Get you a baking spray and I'm using Baker's Joy today. it well. We're just going to get our batter into our pan. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, go ahead and preheat your oven to 325 degrees. If I hadn't said that, we're gonna bake this for one hour or until it's done, until your wooden toothpick come out clean. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste. Ooh, that tastes good. It's light and fluffy. Give it a little tap on the bottom. I have my oven set at 325 degrees and we're about to get our Cool Whip pound cake into the oven. And we're gonna check it after one hour. Guys, I just pulled the cake from the um, oven and it looks amazing. Look at that. I think we're going to get a good release. It's starting to pull away from the edges already. I believe I'm going to go ahead and give it a flip. This is our Cool Whip Pound Cake. Guys, I'm pretty impressed with this Cool Whip Pound Cake. It looks beautiful. We're not gonna put any glaze on it. It's gorgeous. But we are going to cut us a piece. We have our little plate here. It's still hot.
Ooh, she's pretty. She's hot. It's beautiful. Let's give it a taste. It smells so good. This is a good one, guys. This is a good one. Mmm. This is truly a tasty little cake. I love it. It is so good. It's very easy to make. Separate ingredients. It's so good. Guys, I certainly hope you have enjoyed this video. I shared with you a recipe on Cool Whip Pound Cake. It's another keeper. It is very, very good. It's a nice, it's a nice moist pound cake. It's light. I love it. It is absolutely marvelous. It is good to try something different sometimes. And I certainly hope that this video have inspired you to try something different. It's amazing. Okay, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. And until next time, we're going to see you right back here on Everyday Living with Simply Mercy Bee.